Think I should tell them what we're doing? Yeah. I didn't know if you already had. I have not. So while Ben is getting set up, we're gonna show you exactly how we do this. But you may be thinking, why in the world are you taking out your tartar chute? You just got that last year. If you've been around here a while, you know that we love our tartar system. We got a whole alleyway and sweet tub and everything. Um, best equipment we've ever had and has made a world of difference in our cattle working. But we're taking it out today. And you may be thinking, what in the world? All right. This is why we're taking it out. It's to put more on it. So we are taking our cattle operation to the next level. I've been telling y'all for a bit now that we are trying to get our train back on the tracks with our cattle operation. Uh, we've kind of let some things go for several years. And when you do that with cows, it will kind of eventually snowball on you. And that's kind of where we are now. We had a bad year for hay, bad year for army worms. We're about to uh, scale back our cow herd in hopes to grow. I know that sounds kind of strange. We're about to get our entire herd up in the next week and a half and work them and figure out who is bred, who is not. And we're gonna cull some, we're gonna weigh some. There's lots of things we're gonna do. And this is just part of the step in that process. So we are actually installing load bars today from Gallagher and we are installing a way scale. So let me get that out of the truck. So this is another piece to the puzzle. So let me tell you why we're doing this. Why, why would we even want to go the trouble to do this? Well, there's a few things that this is going to help us with here on our farm. So the first thing is, and this just might sound dumb to you, but it's the truth. You want to install something to weigh animals so you know how much they weigh. No, but seriously, that is really an important puzzle to raising, especially cows, especially if you're raising those cows for meat. Honestly, it doesn't even matter if you're raising them for meat or if you're just raising cows to sell a crop of calves. There's going to be times you're going to need to know the weight of them. And a couple of those reasons here on our farm are we need to know the weights of calves that are going to the butcher. We need to know what they weigh, how long it took them to get there. Are they ready to go? Um, because a couple of things, we can give a customer an idea of how much that animal is going to weigh that they're putting a deposit down on. Even if you're just doing that for your own family, which is what we've done in the past, it's just really good to know the weight of the animal you're taking to the processing place because um, that's what you're going to be paying based on once it gets there um, is the weight. It'll be the rail weight once it gets there. But if you don't have any idea of the live weight, you have no idea how much that's going to cost you. Second thing is medications. You're probably like us. You're going to have times on your farm. You're going to need to medicate for something somewhere or another. Um, we in no way give any preventative medications here on our homestead and farm, but there is times we've had to medicate and almost all medications, not everyone, because some of them are just based on this many milliliters per head, but most medications are based on weight. And if you have no idea how to guess the weight of a cow, even if you do, you might not be that accurate. And if you're giving too small of a dose, there can be consequences. Too large of a dose, there can be consequences. So that's gonna help us out tremendously on medicating. And let's just face it, medications, vaccine, anything like that that you have to do is expensive. So you don't wanna be wasting it and over medicating. And finally, the main reason we're doing this here on our farm is we are starting to raise South Pole cattle. Now, if you're not familiar with those, they are a breed developed by one of the lead singers in the group, Alabama. They're, they're made to take grass and efficiently turn that into beef. They just have really good grass genetics. And we have spent some money and gotten ourselves a start on a very, very small herd, but we're moving in that direction. We're going to be doing some AI, which is artificial insemination, this winter of a new group of heifers with AI semen to make half South Poles next year. And in that group of heifers I'm AIing, we have some that are half South Pole already in that group. So they will actually be three quarter South Pole, their babies will by the time we breed those two full blood South Poles. And these load bars and this weigh scale is gonna help us because you can register half South Poles. So 50% South Pole, you can register those, but we're gonna need to know weights. And we are also gonna want to know weights on how are the South Poles doing? Are they, are they growing off any better than the beef breeds that are generally raised on grain? Or are they growing off 
poorly? Are they growing off about the same? Those are good things to know because there are types of cattle that are more expensive than others. And what's the point in spending money on something that's not doing any better than the rest? That's just for our own personal information, for our own experimentation that we want to know. So we're going to be able to do that. So Ben is actually about to put these in. We're going to kind of explain to you how this is going to work because this is a Gallagher setup of the waste gun load bars going into a tartar system. So what I've done is I've contacted tartar and you have to, to do this setup that I've got here you actually have to contact Tartar specifically and tell them what style load bars you've got. And these are the Gallagher ones, like she said. They have a plate, an adapter plate, to adapt your load bars to this Tartar chute and just makes everything a whole lot simpler, goes on efficiently. And so that's gonna allow you, like you're saying, right, to like bolt that down Yep, what I'm doing right now, they come with pre-cut holes in them. These two for the load bars. These two are for two different styles of chutes. So you can bolt it down to the, your load bars, slide it under there, bolt it right up to your chute. The chute already comes with a hole in it. And that's where we're going. I'm gonna get one more tight. And it helps to have a handy husband. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Whew, these things aren't light. And would y'all look at his shirt? Emily made it. I love it. Yeah, that's when I had the long beard. Y'all missed the long beard, didn't you? I kind of like the short beard. Yeah. Whoo, it's going to be heavy. You want me to help you? Nope. I'm going right Don't there. hurt yourself. I'm going right there under the back of it. So these are pretty self-explanatory, or there was to me. Um, you just mount these load, these plates on these load bars, and right down here, we've got a hole in the in the tube. All you gotta do is set a bolt in there, come up through the hole in the plate, bolt them up, and then I'm gonna take all of our our scotches out of this. That's it is on there, but anyway, once we set it down, then we will redhead or anchor this to this concrete and it will be set to go. One thing you don't want to do, don't need to do, is attach your palpation cage, vet cage, to your chute. Or if you don't have one of them, you don't need to attach your alleyway to the chute. It'll throw your scales off. So we are kind of doing this uh, learn by doing because there's really not a YouTube video out there on how to do this. So this is kind of the first one. Um, so I want to kind of walk you through exactly what he's doing. So if you ever need this video or maybe you're coming to this video, you've never heard of our channel and you're really here to learn how to do this. So let me show you what we got. So Ben showed you attaching the adapter plate to the load bars and then we have a tractor. We have attached to some straps and we have picked up the chute we've got some scotches under it which is essentially some blocks a big pipe um, just some things to securely hold it off the ground he's put that load bar and adapter plate under there now i'm gonna have to sit you guys down and i'm gonna have to pick that up to where it needs to attach so he can attach it So I don't really see how you could do this project by yourself. You're gonna more than likely need a hand to help you. All right, ideally we should have probably brought a broom over here, but we didn't. So Ben is sweeping that off. You wanna get it pretty clean so that um, you're not sitting on a big clump of dirt. You want, you're want you gonna be weighing things. So you want this to set as level as possible. And I should also say that a few weeks ago, we poured this concrete pad so that it would be sitting on a nice solid level surface. It, it really didn't cost that much money. It's a very small pad. It gives also me a place to stand when we are working cows that I'm up off the dirt and the mud and things like that. We can spray it off if need be. There's lots of benefits to that. So um, we went ahead and poured a little bit bigger pad than we would have had to. 
um, and the bigger the better honestly when you're working cows so if you can pour an even bigger one it just gives you a nice solid clean work surface so you can see ben is putting the other load bar here in the front we're going to essentially do the same thing up front so you can see the cord right there uh, that's on both load bars it's just he hadn't cut the plastic yet on the back one that's why you didn't really see it but that is going to attach to the scale so we're going to get this front one bolted up as well So with this kit comes uh, all the bolts necessary to put this on and you're just going to need a socket and a wrench. They got lock washers or lock nuts on the bottom. So it will come with four plates and each plate has three bolts. Really simple to figure out and set up. And you're just tightening everything up, huh? Yep, and you get them all real tight. All right, so before you set your chute down, you want to get the cables out from underneath the bottom of your load bars. There's a space down there. You can pull them out, and I've just thrown them over into the chute. That way we don't smoosh any of the cables. So now we're fixing to pick it up. I've got it set. I've got it spaced right on my, uh, my palpation cage. That way I don't have too big of a gap. But uh, I've got to have room in here to anchor it down. I've got to anchor the, the load bars down and anchor the uh, palpation deck cage down. That way when they come in there, now this isn't going to be attached. And when they get, if they get rowdy, it don't shift around. So this next step, we're going to actually anchor this to the concrete. We're going to anchor the vet cage and we're going to anchor the actual chute to the concrete like Ben said so it doesn't move around. We don't want to mess up the scales, but we also don't want to get hurt if they get in the vet cage and start moving that around. Um, so we, this actually did not come with the kit. He went to the hardware store and bought these. These are called redheads or wedge anchors. It's what we're going to use to bolt this thing down. So if you can see behind me, we are losing light at a rapid pace. We're in the time of year it gets dark early, but the work still goes on. So we're using every last minute. We're going to try to complete this job. So what's that tool you're using? So this is actually a concrete drill bit. Um, there are special drill bits, and this is actually a hammer drill. So it's hammering as it's drilling, and that's, what's, that's what you want to use on concrete. It'll drill so much better. So, like I said, this did not actually come with the set of the load bars and stuff, but so I don't guess it's absolutely essential, but it's a really, really good idea and it's going to save us some potential um, problems in the future. And let me just say the holes are already there in the load bars, so I would say it's definitely recommended. Okay, so we've run into a little hiccup I just want to pass along to you. You can see from Ben drilling that he's having to drill at an angle instead of straight down because now our chute is in the way to be able to go straight down. So you need to pre-drill your holes. But here's the thing, if you do that and then you're going to have to get it set perfectly over that hole for it to ever work. So we're just going in at an angle. It will still anchor, it will still hold it. But I do want to pass that along. If you want them to be straight down, you need to do that beforehand. And let me say, that's only on the back of our chute. The front, there's nothing in the way. It's going to be fine. So 
So the vent cage and the uh, alleyway both will come with pre-drilled holes just for this instance. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these in there. All right, our last step is putting these bolts in. I know um, there wasn't a how-to video out there on how to do this, but if I had to do it all over again, I would probably put this back one down and go ahead and uh, drill the anchor hole straight down. I did not know that and I'm not gonna go back through it. So I just drilled them at a little bit of an angle and try to hammer them down into the concrete. They'll probably work just fine. Uh, if you don't know, when you're driving a, uh, a stud like that, a bolt into, the, into anything, if you put your nut flush with the top of your, your bolt, you won't mess up your threads because you're hitting on the whole thing. If that was down like that, especially if you hit it with a, a metal hammer, that's just gonna booger your threads up, bend them down and mess them up. So I always run that nut up there flush and hit it down. That's the way this one is. See if I can get in there that angle, yeah. I think this will be just fine. We're gonna tighten these down and we're gonna be done. So what do you do? You drive them down as far as they'll go because it told you how far to drill it? Right, I just drilled as deep as I could uh, with this angle at that. That way I couldn't get all the way down like I needed to, but I got down there an uh, inch and a half to two inches. Once you do that, you drive them down to the bottom of your hole and then you're gonna start tightening them up and what's that's doing is there's a wedge on the bottom of that bolt and it's expanding the bottom of that bolt into the concrete where they cannot pull back out. Now, once these are in there, you're not gonna get them back out. So that is it, guys. We have wrapped this up. I really think this is gonna be a good thing for our farm. We really wanted to make this video so that if anybody out there is trying to install something like this, they'll know how, for one. Also for if you ever get a chance to get some scales um, that you'll know kind of some of the reasons why would you want to weigh cows? Cause I've kind of thought that myself in the past, like really what good does that do me? They are what they are, right? But there really is a lot of benefits to being able to find out what your cows weigh. So you will be seeing us put these into practice really, really soon. We're about to attach the scales and this job is complete. We will be using these within the next week and a half when we work our cows, weighing some, taking some records. When you get your cows up just and you have a chance to see what they weigh, just write it down. Compare it to the next time when you get them up. Is that cow losing weight? Why? Maybe you need to start investigating. Is she sick? Does she need some extra nutrition? What's going on with her? Is that calf way smaller than the rest? how what happened what cow is that from different things like that just there's a whole load of possibilities where it could help maximize your production on your cattle farm um, also with sheep and goats or whatever you can weigh lots of different animals for medicating for just knowledge whatever the case may be that you need i'm going to go hook those scales up and wrap it up because it is getting dark out here i'll see you guys later thanks for watching if you're new to our channel and this is the first video you've ever seen stick around for a while we'd love to have you if you've been here a while thank you guys we appreciate you and we'll see you guys later thanks for watching and god bless All right, so this here is the scale that will actually tell you what they weigh. The load bars do the load of the work. They're gonna translate the weight from there into this where you'll be able to read it. And it's simple to hook up. You've got two spots here on the bottom. So each load bar comes with its own cable. We're not gonna hook them up because we're not even working cows for the next couple of weeks. But to hook it up, it comes with mounting hardware, everything. This is a really simple one. This is the WO. I didn't really need one of them big extravagant ones that keeps all kinds of records. Andrea does a really good job on keeping records in the house on paper. All I really wanted is the weight of the animal.